Chris Gillett and Chris Bailey were medical students at Bristol University when they undertook a class about how to develop e-learning content for the medical program. From this beginning, they developed Medicals, an independent website where medical students can undertake online tutorials designed by other students. This case study examines how the medical system works and also discusses the benefits of user-generated learning materials. So the package we created was based on our experiences of online tutorials. If you want to learn or if you want to test yourself, you've got two forms of learning. You've got full-length tutorials, which take you an hour, 45 minutes, which are really great for giving you that comprehensive view and learning it for the first time, perhaps. At the other end of the scale, you've got things like multiple choice questions, which are really quick and you can cover a lot of ground, but they don't really give you much teaching. So we designed a website which was uh, mini tutorial based. Sort of the basic uh, idea of it was what we call bite-sized assessment in medicine. We tried to walk this middle path between tutorials and self-assessment and give sort of things that you could do in 15, 20 minutes. We would um, find a subject and we would aim to teach a component of that subject. And then you could test yourself or you could apply some knowledge which you'd already gained elsewhere. For example, a structure, a, a labelled structure, and the person ans answering the question would have to sort of label each bit by typing in uh, a little section on, on, the, on a blank space that we'd left off. So it's, it's quite a simple idea. A lot of things in medicine is, are about sort of taking content on board, learning sort of vast bits of information which cannot really be done at first pass. These tutorials are particularly important because it does allow people to tailor their learning experience to themselves based on what they see their own level of knowledge being. They could test their knowledge and they could identify weaknesses in, in their knowledge and this would be uploaded and sort of stored as a, as a sort of a progress chart. If you've got something that you can go back to, it's, um, it's much easier to assimilate that information. We were very aware that we couldn't maintain the site forever by creating our own content, so we, we opened it up to everyone. We implemented a system whereby a user could create an account and upload their own tutorials based on experience that they've had or, or gaps that they've had or something that they feel that could be taught better through this website. As far as people who want to use it, it's completely tech-free. So even if you want to create your own tutorials, it's all done through a website, so by filling out web forms. It's a multi-stage process. It gave students the opportunity to design their own e-learning material, which they could use to teach other students. We provide feedback on how a question maybe could be better written, or how good the question is, or if it's similar to another question. We've got a, a group of junior reviewers who are effectively sort of senior medical students who check whether it really looks like a decent assessment and then if they feel that that's correct then we can pass it on to senior reviewers who are doctors in certain specialty areas. We really want it to be a peer-reviewed source rather than something where anyone can publish. When we're actually trying to write the tutorials we find it taking far longer than we ever envisaged. To explain stuff to other students you just have to have that grasp of the subject that you you don't normally develop by reading a textbook. You rarely have going into exams. A lot of material is created on things that students struggled with in the past. And so that tutorial actually slotted in nicely into the medical curriculum. And it was created by a student, which was all the better. The feedback we've had is really positive. People are really interested in creating content that we've spoken to. Both doctors and medical students seem really keen to get involved. The experience has been long, it's been hard. We've had to remain really disciplined at times to, to actually keep things going, but it's been absolutely brilliant. So what we hope to do is by next year have sort of 30, 40 students creating their own material, having feedback on various tutorials and, and students identifying gaps in each other's knowledge. I think if we can get everyone involved, everyone submitting and testing themselves and really create this community spirit on the site, hopefully it will just be really rewarding for everyone involved.